dear students, welcome to this class. We will solve some other problems by integration by substitution method. Let us take a fourth problem. Integration of 1 by e raised to x plus e raised to minus x. This can be simplified here. e raised to x e raised to x plus e raised to minus x can be written as 1 by e raised to x. If you take LCM, e raised to x, e raised to x, e raised to x into e raised to x plus 1 <coughs> divided by e raised to x. Now, this is e raised to x square, two terms are the square plus 1 divided by e raised to x. That is written here. e raised to x, this is plus plus 1 by e raised to x plus 1 by e raised to x, that is dx by e raised to x whole square plus 1 divided by x. This term will come here. That is e raised to x dx this e raised to x term will come to numerator that is e raised to x dx e raised to x square plus 1 now put substitute e raised to x as t substitute e raised to x as t <coughs> then differentiating with respect to x well, I already given you derivative of e raised to x is same that is e raised to x only dx and derivative of t is dt by, dt by dx dt by dx now e raised to x into dx is equals to dt <coughs> equals to dt the given integral changes to integration of e raised to x by e raised to x square plus 1 dx. So, e raised to x dx is dt. This term will become dt. And this is e raised to x is dt, oh, square term is there, plus 1. So, this converted into standard integral, we know result, that is one, one result, that is integration of dx by, dx by 1 plus x square or x square plus 1 dx by 1 x square plus 1 is both same that is tan inverse x tan inverse x integration of dx by 1 plus x square or dx by x square plus 1 that is tan inverse x here means tan inverse t tan inverse t plus c plus c so tan inverse x t is e raised to x plus c plus c <coughs> here simplification is important you should write e raised to minus x as 1 by e raised to x and take lcm e raised to x and simplify this, then this term will go to numerator and substitute uh, e raised to x as t and differentiate with respect to x e raised to x dx is becomes dt and e raised to x that is t square plus 1. So, we know standard result that is tan inverse t integral of 1 by t square plus 1 is tan inverse t plus c. What is t there? e raised to x plus c. So, I hope you are understood.
let us continue next problem in the problem number 5 integration now tan square x secant square x means <coughs> solution here put tan x as t put tan x as t, put tan x as t, differentiate with respect to x, differentiate with respect to x, DIFF means differentiate with respect to x, then derivative of tan x we know, derivative of tan x is secant square x, derivative of t is dt by dx, now dx will we multi cross multiply to this that is secant square x dx is equal to dt. Now given integral will change to integration of tan square x or secant square x dx. Now this is, we have taken tan x as t this is t square and this this term will become dt. So, this is integration of tan square, tan is t square, that is t square dt. Oh, we know how to integral the x to the power of n formula, that is t, t, t cube by 3 plus c. What is t? t means tan x. tan x cube by 3 plus c, c means constant, con, constant of integration. Here, in this problem, we should choose tan x as t, because we, why we should choose, <coughs> we know derivative of tan x is secant square that is present there. <coughs> This, integral, this term will convert into another variable that is dt. <coughs> Derivative of tan x is secant square x dt by dx, secant square dx, secant square dx is equal to dt. Then substitute uh, tan and tan x as t, the t square, secant square x dx is dt then x to the power of n formula that is x to the power of n plus 1 that is x to the power of t square plus 1 by t, t 2 plus 1 x to the power of n plus 1 new by x to the power of n by n plus 1 by n plus 1 that is t plus 1 uh, 2 plus 1 that by 2 plus 1 that is t square t cube by 3 plus c what is t? Tan t means tan x. So that's how you can solve the problem. <coughs> Let us take next problem. Integral of sin inverse x y square root of 1 minus x square dx. This is also this problem based on 
standard result that is integration of sin inverse x is uh, uh, derivative of sin inverse x is 1 by square root of 1 minus x square based on that result we are solving this integral now solution put sin inverse x as t this uh, this you should take it as t we know derivative of sin inverse x is 1 by square root of 1 minus x square differentiate with respect to x differentiate with respect to x derivative of sin inverse x is 1 by square root of 1 minus x square this is dt by dx dt by dx now bring this dx to here that is dx by square root of 1 minus x square so dt now this this is substituted as dt this is show here the given integral becomes integration of sin inverse x divided by square root of 1 minus x square dx so this term this term will become dt dt and this is t this term will become t so this integral changes into t into t into this is sin inverse here as t and this is dt dt now integration of t is t square by 2 t square by 2 plus c what is t we have taken sin inverse x sin inverse x square by 2 plus c plus c so this problem based on 